How's it going everybody and welcome back to the Master League here on Pez 20 here with Andy Erickson here at Venencia. So the last episode was the Copa Italia second round. Unfortunately, um, we couldn't get enough to overcome the Wagle differential from Milan at home in the second leg. And saw us knocked out of competition. So now we are back to focusing on Serie B and we're in a good position coming into this match. Uh, as the month of October is winding down in this episode. Uh, let's go straight into the game board and see where we're at here. So, um, we had to sell a player in the last episode. Um, so D. Mariano, our top winger, is it sold for 5 million uh, euros to uh, over to the J-League in Japan. So now we've got a little bit of money, so um, looking at the board, I think uh, if we could buy, put in a bid for some a new player would be nice, because we do have some funds now. Um, could go always go for some upgrades as well. Uh, it's going to be interesting. We'll see how the dice rolls here. Three, two, one, go. It's a three. One, two, three. Ah, transfer loan list. Very nice. Exactly what we need. So we get to pick um, based on uh, either a transfer or loan list player that we're willing to pick up for the upcoming uh, transfer window. That's not already. That's already in the. Uh, transfer listed. So let's start looking at this point. Do a little power video editing and I'll show you what we we'll find. Looking through the transfer listed players, um, we get a few names we can look at. But the one player position I really want us to look into replacing is the one for the absent winger we're losing in D. Mariano. Who we got all our money from. So the first person I'm going to look at here is Watkins. He's on a release fee of 3.4. His value is about 3.6. He is on the last year of the deal. So pretty enticing acquisition here if we could uh, pick him up. He is a bit older than I'd like, 29. He's pretty much past his peak, or he's about at his peak right now. But uh, could be uh, useful because we definitely need to build this team with some more uh, star talent. So uh, let's lowball here and see if we can get any luck. We're going at 2.4294 for the uh, option. Um, and let's bump up this sell uh, fee. Let's give him a 40% sell on option. Um, I think that's fair compensation for letting the player go. That way, if we do decide to sell him, we'll lose a little bit of money on it, but not a whole lot. Uh, Salary-wise, he's making, he's taking a pay cut come here. Um, One-year deal, I don't need to give him two years. Uh, we'll give him a year, see if he pans out. He wants a reduced uh, release fee. I'm okay with that. Uh, 231. Let's see if he's willing to go any lower. We could go lower on him. Let's, let's see if he's willing to go that low at 115. I don't think, yeah, there's nothing really telling me there uh, that would uh, like it. We'll, t we'll see if we can get him on a cheap deal here for a, no a year contract. We'll uh, send that in and see what he thinks about that. But our first transfer deal. This match of the episode, ladies and gentlemen, will see us play host to Consenzia. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. But uh, there's, they're doing a 4-3-3 similar to us. We haven't changed our formation yet, but uh, a few players swapping around here and there. Lazzarini is still our number one keeper in net. We got Caradonna still in that dramatic improvement with uh, Primonesi, the center back pairings. Flor Delisio and Lakovic are your fullbacks. Defensive midfielder is Stretchy, who's still starting for the injured Vodka. Caligara gets another start at defensive midfielder. We got Lolo, the attacking midfielder, with Amaru and Rossi, the wingers, and Zigoni, the center forward, getting the start. Well, we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every sense of the word. The sun is out, and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long and it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. Oh, it's off the crossbar. 
and cleared away. Low, low. Over the top. Oh, nice. Lolo kept the run going. The keeper, I think, got his mitts to it. As Lolo forces a corner here. Quick little passing here. One, two. Good ball over the wing. Lolo and Zagoni hooking up. And, yeah, I think the keeper just pushed that one wide. Framer to whip in. Good pace on it. Nope. Not wide. Good pace. Header. Flicked on. It's off the crossbar. Oh, my goodness. Oh, good turn. The shot. Oh, just clear that away here. As give up an e another shot on goal here off the quick. Uh, played it quickly there and just opened up right for him. And keeper, great anticipation there as he forces a corner. And the shot, and it's another save. And it'll be another corner here as uh, we fail to get the ball upfield. Great passing here from the opposition here as they're working their way into the box. And just another great reaction save there at the near post. Balls whipped in. Header. Oh, it just goes over. It's going to be a goal kick. That was a dangerous ball in, whipped into the box. Over the top, Emmer is loose. He's got the ball. Can he finish it here? Oh, the keeper makes a brilliant save. Uh, working, but it's halftime. A bit unlucky. We had a few plays that broke through, but neither keeper is given an inch here as we go to the locker room all square. Oh, nice ball, Rossi with a brilliant run and a brilliant goal. And the youngster who's getting the start thanks to the recent transfer of our uh, top winger is getting the opportunity to start. And uh, he's repaying Erickson's favor by getting another crucial goal here. There's a great little run there as the space opened up. And we start the second half fantastically out the gate with a goal. Now, great hold up play down the wing. Just Put it back to center. And then Lolo with a brilliant ball. Just split the gap as Zagoni was cutting towards the box. The gap opened up on the back line. You can see here Zagoni just looking to make that run. Just sliced that defense in half. And a great cultured finish from the young winger here. Oh, and Amaru makes a nice run. Kind of cut inside. Oh, he skies it. Ah. The counterattack's been working very effective here for us tonight as the wingers are making nice runs. Amaru again gets him behind, just tries to lift it, but lifts it too high over the net. Oh, nicely worked here. Looking that ball over the top. Oh, no, in behind. There we go. There it is. The insurance marker. And it's the youngster, Caligara, who got it. Great bit of counterattacking play. And surely that's wrapped up Venencia's third straight win in the league. Just look to bounce back from that, <laughs> that Copa Italia. Great little play, a little one-two. Malia comes on, finds Caligara, who kept his run going, and he just buries it home as the keeper clatters into him. But to no avail... Team's firing on all cylinders for Erickson, and it's a great little finish. And there it is, the final whistle. Came out better in the second half. Erickson's adjustments worked. And Venencia get their third straight victory in the league here. Great effort from the boys here this afternoon. Way to start the episode here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, overall, pretty even match. Um, stats wise really both teams going after an end to end but we uh, took advantage of got even though we only had two shots that were on target they both went into the back of the net um, a little sloppy that first half but that's second half I really felt Erickson's boys played a lot better defensively a few holes here and there 
Uh, Keeper had a solid day, absolutely. Caligara wins man of the match. Uh, Lolo and Rossi get pretty good mentions as well, but and then Caligara, since we've introduced him to the midfield, has been really a breath of fresh air, um, really utilizing him. And the bench, once again, coming up strong too, so a good result here. Let's continue our win streak in Serie uh, B. All right, so we put in the offer for Watkins there. Um, I thought it was a pretty good offer, at least a starting offer. But uh, yeah, he wasn't interested in. Uh, he was looking for a long-term deal. A um, little disappointing. We could have negotiated that, um, but it looks like that deal fell through, so we won't be signing uh, Watkins. It looks like. Uh, hopefully, we'll. Uh, we could, uh, I could use a contract extension, definitely player upgrades, uh, scouting list would be nice. I don't think we, I think we have one name on there, but it still would be nice. Three, two, one, shoot. Okay, we get the scouting list. All right, so let's take a look at the scouting list and see what they have. I think they have actually somebody this time. All right, so our scouts been still looking all over Italy for players that we can uh, bolster our squad with. Looks like we've got one player that we could bring in, which is a goalkeeper here. Um, and I believe we found him right before uh, the sell of our winger, so Scout hasn't given us an updated list back. But um, it's a keeper that could be useful to us. He's got a market value of 210 uh, based on my depth chart that would make him the number two keeper. Would like to bolster this position, even though we have a lot of youngsters in there as well, and we could develop. But uh, we'll take a stab at it here. This will give us an opportunity to help renegotiate contracts a little better. He's on 162, 30, or annual salary. I was gonna say a week, but annually. Uh, he does want a pay cut. That's nice. Um, I think this guy will give two years. Um, he's not too old. We'll, we'll give him a two-year deal. We'll see where that lands him. See if he's willing to negotiate. Because you know, it looks like the one-year deals aren't going to pan out. Um, we can offer him almost anything here. Uh, 73. And uh, we'll max out an option to buy. Actually, you know what? Since we do have a surplus here, let's talk about... Let's see what, if they want a goalkeeper. We do have some goalkeepers left. We could we could uh, make a decent swap here. Um, and Pomney's in the final season of his deal. Uh, he does have quite affection to the club, but uh, I really kind of want to get rid of Pomney. Even though he's 38, it would be an upgrade, and we get a younger keeper. So let's see if they're willing to make that deal. Um, yeah, it looks like we can get them for nothing. We could just do a straight swap for keepers here. Um, now we just need to worry about this negotiation here. Uh, we'll leave it as is. I think that's more than reasonable. I think we can negotiate something. Give a two year deal. See if he's willing to play ball. So we'll go in and put in an offer there. Next match sees Venencia traveling to Juvia Stabia in Serie B. Here's what the lineup looks like. Lazzarini keeps his place a bit. Same with the center backs, Caradona and Cremonesi. The full backs remain the same. And Zia Fjordializio Fjord, Fjord and Lak Lakovic are your full backs. Midfield, only one change there. Zuglini's coming in for Caligara, Lolo, and Stretchy, who still is in, in for the injured Vaca, who should be back for the next match. Uh, Alexander Pimenta is getting the start with Amaru on the wings, and Capello is going to be the center forward. Well, a very good evening to you as you join us for tonight's live game. Unfortunately, our weather forecast is somewhat less than promising. We're told to expect intermittent spells of heavy rain, which might very well impact on the quality of the football later. It will certainly add a new dimension, especially for those players who like to keep hold of the ball. A few anxious faces, hoping it will all somehow stay away. Head down. 
Oh no, it's in behind the shot. It's a big save right off the gate. And uh, Stabby get the first opportunity on net here. It's a poor clearance there. Right back to the opposition, and he found a seam to thread it between their defenders. But the keeper coming up big once again. Oh, referee's going to call a foul here, right behind here. Pimenta is probably getting booked. Yes, he is. It's brought down. I think that was a challenge from behind there. As it was looking like it was going to be heading in there. Just a weak yellow, but maybe necessary. All off the wall brilliantly. And going to head it out. And that's going to be the halftime whistle. Scrappy first 45 minutes. Not much for us to show. But maybe once again, Eric's can make it another adjustment here. We've been really fortunate with cold kicks here. The corner kick. Sorry, good ball in. The header. Ooh, just goes over. And set pieces have been our one of our weaknesses this season. And that one was a free run at net. Eric's inside just finds something here. Oh, that's a nice ball. It's going to be ball kindly. And Amru's going to score. We needed something to fall our way, and there it is. Amaru with the goal. As Capello just barely won the header, flicked it through, and Amaru was making the run behind the defense. It was simple but effective. And the home side go down a goal here. And Amaru steps up, gets a huge goal for us here on the road here. It was just a simple play. Of the, you know, I didn't think Capello got most of it, but he got enough of it and flicked it to Amaru. And Amaru was free, and he manages to just hit a nice finesse shot, curls it around the keeper. And we talk about set piece plays being our weakness, defending, but that time we found a way through thanks to our uh, our. Our winger there, Amaru, curling that one in. Deep. Oh, referee's going to call a foul there. That was a reckless challenge, and the yellow card's been shown. Ruby Staubau has been getting more and more aggressive as this match worn on. It's, uh, it was our uh, Simone there on the wing got taken out. Cleared upfield, not out though. Out wide. Oh no, the overhead kick. Ooh. It was probably more than what it needed to from that range. It was way too close for a bicycle kick, but that might have been their last chance as uh, that was a very dangerous play. Trying to get it to the corner flag. There's the final whistle. Venencia make it four straight wins in the league here on the road. Amaru getting the 55-minute winner. What was a tough, tough match for us, but a great road win. Not a ton of highlights in this one as uh, it was a defensive struggle from both ends. You can see we only had one shot on the net the entire game. It was on target, and lucky for us, it did go through. But... Uh, yeah, we just couldn't generate much against this defense. They were very solid, just couldn't find a way to break through. And obviously the fouls weren't helping us either. It was slowing us down. But um, at the end of the day, we managed to get a fortunate, a good three points for us. I mean, it's always good we'd get it on the road, but I think we got fortunate. We got a bounce to go our way, and we came out of here with three points. Man of the match goes to Amaru. Just continues to uh, be a crucial piece of this uh, attack for us. Everybody had a solid game, except for a few players. But um, can't complain when you win four matches in a row here to start the campaign. With match day six on the books, we take a look at the table. We are now in a clear second place, just one point behind Chievo Verona, who hasn't lost a match yet. You know. Really, what's been keeping us in matches is our defensive record. We see four goals 
against in, in what, six league matches is pretty good. We've only scored nine, so our offensive output could be better. But uh, we're winning the close games, and that's what matters the most. So that is going to do it for me, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, two more wins in the bag. We're off to a flying start here. Uh, we're looking strong. A lot stronger than I thought we would be going into uh, this season. Um, Erickson's uh, management of the squad here in the first couple month, few months have been very good. But uh, we'll see how things progress here in the next couple of uh, league matches we got coming up. So that's going to do it for me, guys. I hope if you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you want more content. And take care, everybody, and I will see you guys next time.